today. And today we're going to have a game of Hopeless, Lost in Space on the Commodore 64. This is a game request by Ashley Farnham. Right, I have never even heard of this game. And no, it's got nothing to do with the television series Lost in Space. From the 60s, was that? Yeah, it's got, I don't think it's got anything to do with this. Um, right, so this is a, an adventure game. Um, it's quite a complex game by the looks of it. I've read the instructions briefly. Um, I had to ref it's one of them games I had to try and refer to a video. Because um, I have no idea how to play it. I doubt any I doubt very much I'm gonna have no idea how to play it. But I've got a few ideas. But Right, push spacebar to start. For some reason you can't push fire button to start. Now this game also uses the keyboard as well as the joystick. Alright. So you can change, because as you see we've got a shield at the moment, but we can um, activate different weapons. And also he's got a jetpack. Right, okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now. I think there was something there I had to activate. So let's go back. I think there's a terminal here. So we how to activate the terminal. Push down and fire. So that changes that. So what that does, I think it... The, the top opens up. Yeah, now the top has opened up. Oh, fuck. And I think it's one of these games that you get unlimited lives. But for some reason... You, there is a button if you get stuck. Apparently you can get stuck in this game. And there is a button that you can push out. Oh, I fucking didn't open the... Didn't open the top up. Yeah, so there's a lot of lot of involvement in this game. It's not a single shoot -em up platform game. No. Now, as so we opened up the top, I think it's F2. Oh shit! Is it F1? F1. Activates um, your backpack. And I think there's lots of different, loads of levels, about 2,000 screens or something, I don't know. But where am I supposed to go? But I think it's one of them games, it's, it's a very, it's a complex game. Right, can I land on something? Is there, right, what's that? No, that's just taking me back again. Ah, oh, I have to get on that. I've got to get on that terminal. Right, okay. Right, so I've got to push F1. Right, take you to this screen. So, what you've got to do, I've got a clue really. <laughs> so, F3 set. You've got to push F3 to set somehow. So F1 will take you where you are. Where you, where you are. So we've come out of our spaceship, and now we're here. So let's go to F5. Oh, hang on. Right. Where there's a flashing X, maybe. Push F3. No, I don't 
don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe one up. F3. Can I F5? Push F5 and it ain't worked. So I really... Yeah, there's a lot of... Re there is docks. But there's a lot of reading to understand this game. Um, now graphically, it's it's an eighty-six game. Um, it's it's a complex game. So, if you like adventure games, this might appeal to you. Now, if we push F3, we do also have a laser. So, graphics are quite simple. They'll do the job. And it takes you all the way back here again. Right, so... Right, so that opens the top up. So we've still got our laser. Oh, fuck. Now, for some reason, with this game, when you walk, it walks on its own. Sometimes. Right, remember, oh, fucking hell. See, this will quite piss me off because it seems sending me back to this terminal. What's that noise? Fucking get up the seat. Sometimes getting on the ladders can be a bastard. Right, what's over here? So there's a computer. So I'm still in the ship. But you can't. I don't think it's. Uh, I have to get out of the ship first. So, F5. Ah, fuck it. I forgot all about that. So, strength is quite up. Quite high. Energy and fuel. Bloody hell, so every time you get, every time you get it, it takes it down. Oh, so I've still got my laser. I think you push F2. I ain't got nothing. Uh, F3. Oh, you stop. So F3, you, you turn into a ninja. You start fighting. Right, I want to get out of here again. F4, F5, F5 pauses it. F7. Alright. So what's F? How do I get my shield back up then? So F1 is. Yeah. It's a very, very complex game. Alright, now I've got my shield again. Hang on. Right, F3 is a laser weapon. Yeah, it's a very interesting talk. Helpless lost in space. Yeah. There's a lot of help that needed in this game, so alright, let's let's um open the roof. Up is jump. Sometimes it can be a bit bastard to get onto the ladder. 
Now, let's go. Oh, fuck's sake. As I say, sometimes I'm pushing up and it's going up automatically. Down, it doesn't stop. It does that with walking sometimes. So stop. You have to see it's walk right down the fire. So I'm here. Do I have to push F? Three? No, I see. I don't get this. So it's a sort of circle with a. Right, what about here then? Three. See, I can't move for some reason. I don't get how this works. I'm setting it, but it won't work. Right, so it gives you a minute. Let's, let's just. Um, one. Oh fuck, I pushed F1. And it always sets you back here. Yeah. I can see this game getting very fucking frustrating quite quickly. Um, obviously it ain't going to put you back here all the time. There must be other places where you can activate and that's your restart point. As far as I'm aware, you get unlimited lives. There is a key you can push to take you back if you get stuck. There are quite a lot of instructions and there is a few different keys you have to push. So it's not a simple joystick game. Yeah, it's a complex game, but there's a lot, lot of screens. So if you're into these games, then give it a go. You might enjoy it, but me, if I if I had this back in the day, I might have um, played it, but I think it would have fucking frustrated me because of the controls. It just walks on its own. Like if you go left, yeah, just keep going left until it hits something. Or if you push down, it'll stop. Or if you push fire, it'll stop. So why does it do that? It, it, it's no need for it to do that. Sometimes getting on the ladders can be a bit of a bastard. Um, graphics, yeah, the graphics do the job, considering how big the game is, apparently. But, uh, this ain't one for me. Yeah, you're gonna have to read up on this game. The ROM I got has got docks, and also it does have cheats. But, my channel is not about cheating, so we won't be activating cheats, but... Yeah, there's a lot involved. I can see this game getting on my nerves a bit, a bit frustrating with the controls, the way it moves. Yeah, but I think this would appeal to the people that like adventure games. So if you like adventure games, then give it a go. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.